Putin and Erdogan meeting in Sochi later today. What should we expect in terms of optics and outcomes here, particularly in light of Russia's latest attack in Odessa? Look, these are two uh, of the uh, longest uh, serving heads of state. Erdogan just uh, won an election and uh, Putin uh, views the Ukraine war as uh, make or break of his rule. So a lot is at stake for the both uh, of the, the leaders. Uh, but I don't think Erdogan would go to Sochi uh, if there was uh, no sign that Putin is willing uh, to compromise on that deal. Uh, the deal is important for Russia because Russia is losing its hydrocarbon markets. Uh, it's selling the Urals uh, oil uh, brand uh, at about 40 to 50 percent discount. It lost the European market. It lost the, get, lost the Gazprom pipe gas market, uh, only has uh, the liquefied uh, gas market in Europe now. Uh, so Russia is anxious to sell fertilizer. It can produce it cheaper because it has so much uh, underutilized uh, natural gas uh, for electricity, for production of fertilizer, uh, and also as raw material. Um, Putin, uh, on the other hand, wants these conditions of the grain deal that they abandoned uh, six weeks ago reinstated, uh, and he wants Erdogan to play a role in uh, brokering that deal. Uh, but for Erdogan, uh, also, uh, it's important to demonstrate to the West that while he um, supported NATO enlargement, uh, even with Sweden, he played some games there. He got uh, F-16s from the United States, long uh, frozen uh, deal uh, of supplying F-16s. So he made a step towards the West. Now he makes a step towards Putin to uh, balance Turkey between the East and the West. And at the same time, Putin wants to restrain Erdogan, who is making a lot of progress in the Caucasus, in Central Asia, with the Turkic Union, uh, with Azerbaijan, uh, that Turkey supported in the 2020 war against Armenia. So there's some geopolitics here and some global grain markets game as well.